right, guys. So welcome to the to the Hispanic Heritage Month. This is gonna be our interview. We just wanna know a little bit more about you. Okay, so we're gonna be taking turns answering a couple of questions. All right. So we're gonna begin with what is your name and what is your role in the school. Okay. Okay. Hi, I am Miss Santiago. I teach sixth grade ELA and world history. And I'm Miss Amaya, and I teach kindergarten. Yay! <laughs> I am Miss Coronado, and I teach kindergarten. All right. Thank you, ladies. Ooh. Okay, so um, we're going to continue with this question. Where were you born? Okay, if you were born in the United States or your parents, okay? This is Diago. I was born in New York. Uh, my parents are born in Puerto Rico and Cuba. My mom is Cuba, my dad is Puerto Rico. Oh, nice. So I was born in Canada, but my family is from El Salvador. Now? I was born in Lima, Peru, but my family and my family is from Peru. Oh, amazing. Okay, so um, how long have you been, or your family has been in the United States? Because I know some of you were born here, but how long have you been here, or your family? Um, trying to do math in my head really quick. <laughs> how old my mom is? <laughs> She was a kid, but I'm not, I don't know how long it's been. Uh, but she spent most of her life in New York. Oh, yeah. okay. My dad is, is still technically considered a citizen anyways, because Puerto Rico is a territory, so. So he's been in the United States. It's just started off from Puerto Rico. He came here as a baby. Oh, okay. Is yeah, We've been here for a very long time. <laughs> um, so I kind of grew up here and moved here when I was 10, I think. Yeah, 10. Um, so my family has been there since like over 20 years. Oh, okay. Um, how long have you been here? I've been here since I was one, so I think we've been here for like 31 years. Oh, okay. So your whole life. My whole life. Yes, since I won. Yeah, I'm okay. Okay. So, um, have you always known English or Spanish, and how did you learn? Okay. Spanish no, my Spanish is not that great. Because where I was in New York, it was it was not like South Florida at all. Like my neighborhood in New York, we were actually the only Latin family that was there, and people looked at us like speaking family. So my parents actually made it a point to become like Americanized, and so it wasn't actually until I came to South Florida when everyone was speaking Spanish, it became like oh, so this is our people, this is where we are. You know, it was a lot different. New York was a lot different. Oh, wow. Good to know. So when I got to the U.S., I only spoke Spanish and French. Um, no English yet. Um, it wasn't until we went into school that we started learning um, English. Oh, um, um, I don't know. I think when I came here, I didn't speak at all, but I learned. I don't know. I learned to speak both. I learned English in daycare and with my older siblings. I always remember speaking English. My Spanish, I speak Spanish uh, with my parents. So at home, I learned to speak Spanish. Yeah, it's usually a requirement. Every Spanish <laughs> the sense needs to know Spanish. <laughs> okay, so um, can you tell me, any of you can answer this question. What motivated you or your family to come to the United States? Well, to motivate your, it doesn't necessarily be related to your family. Yeah, my mom and my grandpa, they came to the United States because Cuba was not a very nice place to be at the time. And so they came here actually as refugees. And so they came just looking for, for safety and a place to live that was, you know, better opportunities. Uh, my Puerto Rican side of the family, they came also just to get more opportunities. They went to New York. That was it. That's different, right? Yeah. I um, well, my dad's side of the family lives here in the U.S., so my dad wanted to be closer to his family and also the weather in Canada is very, very cold, so they wanted just like a warmer place to live in, so that's how we ended up in really, South really warm. Florida. <laughs> really, really warm. Like, no snow. <laughs> <laughs> we were the opposite. We were the opposite. We up to New York, so it was cold. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, what would be a Hispanic tradition that you would like to pass down to the next generation? Something that you learn from your parents that you like your kids to know and practice? Sure. Any of you? 
Dancing, yeah. music. <laughs> All right. So, like, yeah. Dancing and food. Yeah, food. That's nice. That was the, even to this day, Christmas is spent in the kitchen making patems. Everyone in a line, assembly style, everyone making it. And that's across the board. Every Hispanic. Right? Mm -hmm. I think it's that's across the board. Everybody do that. We do. We make pasteles. We make ayacas. Yeah. You guys make pasteles too. All right. Okay. So, uh, what are some things that make his the Hispanic culture special? What is something that you think that makes us Hispanics special? I think um, just every country is so different, and that's what makes us special. That just like a language really unites us. Like we can go to an island is completely different than you know somewhere in South America, and I think that makes us really unique. So we still have some things that connects us all, you know, even cultural too, right? Like we have like a strong community, sense of community. Yes, and that's like kind of across the board. Not mm -hmm. only one country, but it's all 21 countries that speak the same language. Exactly. Okay, so what would be a phrase or saying or the expression that reminds you of your country?